Hi everyone, my name is Denise Back Moore, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a stretch bracelet with the new Beadlon elastic cord needle. Has a little eye at the end and a little stopper there. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna string our 14 millimeter fuchsia dyed agates. I'm kind of obsessed with fuchsia right now. So we're gonna string these. I'm stringing 14 of these beads because 14, 14 millimeter um, agates fit my six and a half inch wrist. So we're gonna string these beads on. Okay, so we have 14 beads on. We're gonna set that down. And let's talk about stretch cording for a minute. I like to use the biggest size stretch cord that will fit in the bead hole. Um, we are using Beadalon Elasticity today. It's uh, 0 0.8 millimeters. So I'm gonna cut approximately 12 inches. And then what I do is I go through and I stretch the cord. Stretching the cord will help maintain the bracelet's shape in the future. So just kind of go through, stretch the cord a little bit. Okay, at the end of the cord, I like to form a simple knot right down at the end. And I'm really, I'm really pulling that tight so it's small. Can you see how small that is? Okay, we're gonna grab our needle. And do you see how I just put it up against here and I pulled it through? Now, I love this little thing, it's called a bead bug. I like to put it on the end of my stretch cord when I'm creating a stretch cord bracelet. And now we're just going to move the beads off of the needle. And we're gonna take it off the needle and this is how I form my knots on all of my stretch bracelets. I pull it tight. I wrap it around my fingers. I grab my round nose pliers. I go through, I grab that end. And then I come back in right in between there. And then I pull that knot down. And then I move it tight. And then I'm gonna form one more knot. I'm gonna pull that tight. I'm gonna open it up. Grab my GS Hypo Cement. I'm gonna dab that knot. Trim the ends, and then I'm going to slide that knot into the bead. Okay, so let's do it one more time. This time I'm going to be using a smaller size stretch cord. This one is 0.5 millimeters. And this is a, another technique you can do with the needle. Uh, maybe you have a smaller bead hole, but this works perfect. 
so once again, we're just going to string all of our beads. These are rondelles with a little bit of a gold fleck on them. So we're just going to use string. Whoops, what's going on with this one? We're just going to string all of our beads onto the needle. a little small but I'm going to give you a tip for that so we're stringing our beads okay now I'm going to give you a little tip for these so I like to come back in with my bead reamer and I just kind of go like this, pull it out. This one is really old. I've been using it forever and we're just kind of making those holes a little bit bigger. We all have times where we get a bead and the hole is wonky and this is just a really quick, easy way to not waste your beads. All right, our bead is now ready to slide on. So there we have our beads. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Fits on my six and a half inch wrist. Now we are grabbing the 5.5 millimeter elasticity cording. And I cut about 24, approximately 24 inches, and I stretched my cording out. I'm finding the center. And we're just gonna go through and slide that right there. And then we wanna go to the end and attach your bead bug. You can also use masking tape. And then we're just going to Move all the beads off. And then we're going to remove it. And then once again, this is how I form my knots. Take it between my fingers, grab my round nose pliers and I pull it through, and then I hold it there, go back underneath, move that down, separate so it's nice and tight. We're gonna go one, two, pull it down nice and tight, open it up. We're gonna, oh, that's a lot of glue, but that's okay. We're just going to dab it. And we're going to trim that end. And then we're going to slide into it. This one's really strong. Even though it's 0.5 millimeter cord, it's double. So this bracelet will be very, 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 very strong. Um, now we'll add a couple of little charms. So we're gonna grab an eight millimeter jump ring. This is how you open and close a jump ring. We never pull apart. So we're gonna open that and grab this cool sun charm. And we're just gonna open up that bracelet, attach it, and close it up. And we'll do one more with the lightning bolt. We're just 
gonna grab our lightning bolt. Let's make sure it's facing the right way. Okay, we're gonna open that up and close it up. So there's our super cute stretch bracelets. They look great in stacks. And here, once again, is our Elastic Cord Needle by Beadalon. And I hope you enjoyed this video.